Growing up in the USA includes many cultural rites of passage, with camping being one that most people have experienced at one time or another. I'm Reacher. Although the purists say staying in a camper isn't true to the adventure, there are those who don't want to leave behind the comforts of home while enjoying their time in nature. With that in mind, we're bringing you 10 campers made right here in the good old USA. Number 10. Hailing from four different locations across the country, Sportsmobile's latest offering in their line of heavy-duty adventure vans is their classic 4x4. Built from a still reinforced fiberglass shell on a Ford cutaway body, this camper van isn't short on space, measuring 17 and a half feet long and six and a half feet wide, with an internal height just under eight feet when the pop-top roof is raised. Inside is a three-person bench in the rear that can be used in combination with the rotating passenger seat as a makeshift lounge area. Running along the driver's side wall are the cooking facilities, which include a mini fridge, a microwave, a sink, and a portable cooker. The bench seating folds down, converting into a full-size bed. This, along with the bed and the roof, provides room to sleep up to four people. Number nine. The name Winnebago is synonymous with the American motorhome, so it's no surprise there's one on this list. One of the offerings from the Iowa-based company is the Mini Winnie, a Class C vehicle having a look reminiscent of years past. Offered with five floor plans, the single slide-out 31K model you see here is one of the longest at just under 33 feet. The open design has the kitchen along the passenger side, which includes a double well sink, a three burner range and oven, a microwave, and a double door refrigerator. Opposite this, housed in the slide out, is a sofa and a U-shaped dinette. The bedroom includes a walk around queen size bed and a wall mounted TV. The bathroom has a vanity and sink across from a five and a half square foot shower. Number eight. The 650 from Lance Campers is the smallest of the short bed truck campers the California based company currently offers. But that doesn't mean it lacks any of the necessities. The rear entrance design has a passenger side U shaped dinette with a removable table. Sitting opposite is an enclosed wet bath in the corner. Next to this is the galley, having a sink, a dual burner cooktop, and a microwave. The cab over offers three feet of headroom and houses a queen size sleeper along with a wardrobe and a three cubic foot refrigerator. Number seven. This one from Tiffin Motorhomes is built on their custom designed Power Glide chassis. The Allegro Red 340-33L is a triple slide out measuring 35 feet long, providing around 350 square feet of living space. The driver's side lounge includes a recliner and sofa next to a wall mounted TV above an electric fireplace. Directly opposite is a dinette with a wall mounted table. Moving back finds an open kitchen, which has a deep well undermount sink, a three burner cooktop, a convection microwave, and a full size refrigerator. Across from this is the bathroom, having a corner shower, toilet, and sink. The bedroom includes a king size bed in the slide out, large wardrobes, and a wall mounted TV. There's also the option of a stacked washer and dryer that can be hidden away in the corner. I'm Allie, and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time. By looking at just these images, do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number eight. 
Number six. Indiana-based Coachman RV is added to the line of Apex Nano Expandables with the 20X model. It resembles any standard travel trailer, but the hidden gems on this one are the three fold-out platforms that are each roomy enough for a queen-size mattress. These hideaway sleepers mean there's more room for the open floor plan's other features. Along the front is bench seating that connects to a small dinette sitting directly across from the entrance. A small kitchen runs along the wall which includes a double bowl sink, a dual burner cooktop, and a microwave, as well as a double door refrigerator. The bathroom is located in the rear passenger side corner, having a toilet, vanity, and sink. Number 5 For those of you who think that a truck bed camper doesn't have enough room, the Eagle Cap 1200 Triple Slide from Washington's Adventurer LP might change your mind. The three slide outs seen here increase the living space to over 100 square feet. Housed in two of the three are a sofa and a set of reclining theater seats which complement the open floor plan. The third offers an L-shaped galley complete with a three-burner cooktop, an eight-cubic-foot refrigerator, a convection microwave, and an undermount double basin sink. Centrally located is the bathroom, which has a corner shower and a foot-flush toilet. The dual-access bedroom is located in the cab over, offering a California king bed with underbed storage. Wrapping it all up is a four-season fiberglass exterior covered with a high-gloss color scheme for the 2020 model. Number four. Oregon's outside van is one to keep an eye on due to the uniqueness and the number of builds they offer. This one, aptly named the Power Station, is designed for off-grid living. Built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, it has a spacious interior that combines natural wood, stainless steel, and white accents to create a clean, futuristic look. The front of the van serves as the lounge area, having rotating captain's chairs, bench seating, and a removable table. Behind this is a small galley that includes a single induction cooker, a blender, a sink, and a mini fridge down below. Across from this is a stainless steel shower with a weatherproof zip down door. An elevated full size bed takes up the back of the van, while underneath is a small garage space. Added features include an air hose and a plug in to charge an e bike. In keeping with the off-grid design, extra power is provided by a roof-mounted solar array. Number 3 Having a catchy name definitely makes us take a second glance. But the Vegas from Indiana's Thor Motor Coach is more than that. Offering three floor plans, the 27.7 model is the longest at 28 and a half feet with an eight foot width and an interior height just shy of seven feet. The entrance sits directly across from a centrally located L-shaped kitchen, complete with a dual burner cooktop, a convection microwave, a large basin sink, and a double door fridge. Forward of this is the lounge area with a jackknife sofa on one side and the dinette on the other. Taking up the rear is the bedroom with a walk-around flip-up queen bed and a bathroom with a 7 square foot shower, vanity sink, and toilet. Outside is a 20 foot awning providing plenty of space to lounge while watching the exterior TV. Number two. Just like the earlier Winnebago, no list of this kind would be complete without an Airstream. The Ohio-based company has expanded their 2020 Globetrotter lineup with a 30-footer having two floor plans. Offering four options on the decor, the interior is nothing short of the luxurious standard the company has set for itself. The front has wraparound seating that serves as both a lounge area and a dinette, 
Opposite this is the kitchen having a glass covered three burner cooktop, a deep well sink, a slide out microwave, and a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Moving back finds a split style bathroom with a toilet and vanity on one side and the shower on the other. Finishing it off is a private bedroom with a walk around queen bed. Extra sleeping space can be had by converting the lounge seating to twin beds if needed. Normally the honorable mention segment would have a camper or something camper related, but we wanted to take a different approach to this one. We'd like to give a shout out to two individuals, one whom our regular viewers will be familiar with and another whose craftsmanship is nothing short of amazing. First is Alan Heath. As most of you are aware by now, he's been a wealth of knowledge for a lot of the camper vans and motorhomes we've featured on the channel. His hard work and dedication on his channel shows as he has a few thousand videos and then some that everyone interested in campers should take the time to check out. Next up is Joe Edwards. We recently discovered his work while doing some research and we were absolutely blown away by the artistry and quality. His channel not only showcases his van builds, but it also highlights what went into designing and building some of the individual components. His work is nothing short of amazing and definitely worth the watch. We'll provide links for both channels in the description below. Number one. When someone says toy hauler, I'm betting the first thing to come to mind is an enclosed trailer. But someone at California's Genesis Supreme decided to think outside the box, creating the Overnighter, a line of open cargo toy haulers. Running 31 and a half feet long, each one has the standard living quarters housed at the front. But the big difference is the flatbed design, which offers up to 18 feet of cargo space. They all have some form of a sleeper, be it a full-size bed, fold-down dual couches, or an expandable dinette. Each one also has a bathroom with a 40-inch tub and a foot flush toilet. All but one model includes a galley having a dual-burner cooktop, microwave, sink, and a 6-cubic-foot refrigerator. Number 